Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear Libras. This month's astrology is all about the big audit with Saturn, Pluto, and Neptune all being retrograde. And it's also about the balancing act of this kind of work with all of the practical responsibilities that continue to loom, you know, in life as we come to this big choice point and energetic shift with the new moon in Cancer and the lunar node shift on the 17th, right? And it affects you all so personally because the node of karma is entering your sign and the node of fate in your sister sign that rules your love and committed relationships. And, you know, when this happens, it completely shakes up your life. It has already been doing so, right, in terms of the ways that the lunar nodes in Taurus and Scorpio were already, like, really, really, um affecting core areas of your life. And so ultimately, this is about you all reviewing and interrogating and uprooting core beliefs, right? Thought patterns, updating your sense of morale and your values and even your physical body and aesthetic appearance, right? And it's a transformation that has been happening for a long time and been very visible to the people around you and in public. But that also is still just beginning in the sense that this month marks a period where the cosmos sort of tests your sense of integrity and integration from these transformations in terms of your ability to live this new and improved version of yourself out loud, right? To walk your talk, right? Which appears here in the cards, right? And we see Saturn, the moon child, and the chariot cards, and also the divine wisdom card all appear indicating the alignment between the stars and the cards, particularly these particular planet configurations having these really potent effects on this big transformation that you all have been going through and this new energy that is coming in, right? This month, there's still a big focus on you working through deep, difficult emotions and internal conflicts and any insecurities and even professional competition uh, and making choices about your direction and career and public reputation and your committed business and love relationships in a way that makes you feel empowered and free, right? And I'm picking up on a similarity with the Virgo reading, but with a slight difference in there being a focus on how you express or promote these things on the internet and how you relate to social groups and causes and gain abundance and even share abundance and opportunity with others, right? You figuring out how to use your money um, or platform wisely based on past critical judgments and feedback and and this big process of internal growth that you all have sort of been involved in. Definitely leave a like, leave a comment as well in terms of how this has all been uh, affecting and playing out for you. But these configurations, you know, have been about feedback and about how others feel about you and these aspects of you as well. And, you know, how you do or don't let it affect you, how maybe it inspires you to reconsider your point of view, your values, or shift energy dynamics in your relationships, or even pivot and capitalize on something, right? And it's about how you maintain your beliefs, or rather, how perhaps instead of making any reconsiderations and changes, how maybe you maintain your beliefs, certain standards or certain relational dynamics and let the world adjust. And it's going to be really different for a lot of you. Um, but the thing is, right, is that, you know, karma is in the midst with all of this, right? And so, um, Things will play out in accordance to the choices that you make. The Wheel of Fortune card isn't here, but you know, you have free will, you have you have agency in some ways, right? In terms of, you know, how it is that you 
move forward. All right. So we have the overall energy being five of wands and the guilt cards in reverse, right? And these are these cards that are talking about, um, and then also the moon child in reverse being related to the past and also the two of wands, right? So all of these are talking about this deep work of resolving internal conflict and any feelings of guilt from relationship, partnership, and commitment choices, choices or scenarios that may have involved even education, uh, teachers, mentors, wise people, people uh, of different faiths or backgrounds than you. Um, it will vary. You will know how this applies to you. But in terms of the astrology, these are all of the many different scenarios uh, the different aspects of different scenarios that have perhaps been affecting the Libra collective. And it's talking about this sort of crisis of faith, maybe even faithfulness, um, a crisis of identity, right? Which is absolutely what the notes of fate and karma do when they come into your sign and your sister sign. It's also about, you know, crisis of identity related to appearance or public appearance of success and achievements, right? And, with the two of wands card here, you know, she holds the world in her hands, but she seems caged by this arch that is above her, right? That she's standing under. And in this card, it's like she can't move or think outside of this arch. And the arch has the exact same engravings as the halo around the moon child. And so there's this indication that, you know, despite public appearances, uh, even public appearances of success, um, all of these scenarios that I've mentioned have created inner, tor inner turmoil, right? And things haven't been as great as you've made them seen in the past. Um, and, you know, putting so much effort into perhaps promoting a false image has been part of the problem, chaining you to issues versus being unchained by facing them honestly and resolving them right at the root. And when I pull the two of wands related to the past, the moon child card was actually hiding behind the two of wands and I didn't see it until later. Right. And so there's that message about, you know, you feeling caged, trapped, wanting to break free of contracts, commitments, consequences, old feelings and image and, you know, images and reputations from choices that you've made or, or from things that have happened where you've been affected in some way, even by the choices um, of others, right? And the Hierophant appears here in the challenge and it, you know, represents you perhaps seeking, you know, mental, emotional, spiritual, legal, or medical counsel. Um, if you look at all of the Libra readings here on the channel, this is been coming up, particularly um, you all getting uh, medical or even cosmetic surgery, right? Um, but again, the Hierophant here is about that. It's about uh, support and advice and actionable options, right, that you sought or have been seeking or maybe are still seeking. For some of you, this is also about finding solace in your romantic partner or the challenge being about your true feelings and longings and desires in love and maybe actually not finding that solace and having desire um, and your wishes fulfilled in your romantic partner, right? Some of this is about unrequited love. Some of this is about maybe settling in love or settling a divorce and being brave enough to be alone and face your demons and face your truth, right? And ultimately just express and live your truth, right? And that is what these cards sort of indicate here. Um, in terms of like the advice, right? In terms of having the difficult emotions and the walk your talk card here. And then also the chariot and the sun, right? This is about that process of integration. It's about integrity and integrity between your choices and your actions and how you go forward and live your truth bravely and proudly. Um, and there, again, there's a lot of activity, um, 
in terms of Leo, that is all about your 11th house. This is about you like uh, be vocal, expressing yourself on the internet, connecting with others, right? From this uh, more authentic place, right? And uh, the spiritual lessons card that we got for you were the sweat lodge and taming the wind. And um, I'm going to read the Taming the Wind card here for you. But both of these are consecutive cards, right? 54 and 55. The Sweat Lodge is the card that is number 54. So actually, I'm going to do that one first. And so the Sweat Lodge has a message about the spiritual process of detox, right? And it's about it being really deep deep, right? Not shallow or simply cosmetic or based on physical health or appearance, but about purging old habits, beliefs, and humbling oneself to the divine and to the great mother to receive second chances, right? And so um, if there is any guilt and difficult emotions related to needing to face a conflict or finalize an ending or even take off a mask and walk forward in a new authenticity or even to apologize or atone to make something karmically right you're really advised to do it right with this card but also again with the note of karma entering in your sign okay and the note of destiny and fate and blessings being related to how you make things right in relationships and even how you choose relationships wisely, right? From this really aligned place, okay? And from this really pure place, right? With no ego, right? So I'm going to read the Taming the Wind card here. So the Taming the Wind card here is about clearing your energy, it says clear it's time to clear your energy be present and become conscious of how you communicate this is a good time to write in a journal put your thoughts into a cohesive form perhaps you need to actually do a smudging ceremony creating a sacred space to write about your dreams and desires when this symbol appears it's time to honor the great spirit with reverence and respect and when it is reversed it's this indication to clean up any misunderstandings with others and to clear the air and disagreements and allow others to share their side of things. You are called now to be a good listener. It's not a time to be right. It's a time for you to understand rather than be understood. Good things come out of this restraint of tongue and pen, and you will be surprised at how things get resolved when you allow for all sides to have value. And uh, that could absolutely be what the chariot and the sun cards are also pointing to here, right? The chariot is about how you come together with others, right? Um, and then the sun card, quite literally, it, you know, the sun card is about truth. And in this particular sun card, two people are in the illustration who are holding hands and who are essentially bowing under the truth and where there is just this overflow of expression of the truth of both sides right so there's definitely something here you have to let me know how this applies to you um the walk your talk card here says become what you believe are your thoughts, words, and actions in alignment with your core inner values? This card asks you to walk your talk. Become your own personal hero or heroine and step into the very best version of yourself, radiating authenticity into the world. Okay, so that is absolutely what the new moon and this shift in the lunar nodes are going to continue to push you to do and even test you on right um i definitely encourage you to take a look at the venus and leo readings here the jupiter and taurus and then also especially the eclipse season horoscope and tarot guide right which offers more in-depth sort of uh, wisdom and information about the meaning of the lunar nodes moving into your sign in aries okay we're gonna wrap up your reading with your angel number message 
message. And so your angel number message that came through was the number 344, okay? And this says, number three is about self-expression and communication, optimism, skills and talents, friendliness and sociability, growth, expansion, and the principles of increase. Number three is also about the ascendant masters, right? This is about a relationship with spirituality, absolutely. And four is about hard work and responsibility, values, honesty and integrity. Wow. Patience and inner wisdom and diligence and determination to achieve goals. It relates to drive, passion and purpose. All right. And so this number is that the creativity and joy you put into your work in daily life will bring about positive energies, making things run smoothly for you. Okay, the angels applaud your efforts and encourage you to continue on your path. Know that the work you do is of great value and your determination and persistent efforts have and will manifest many blessings in your life. Acknowledge the determination, patience, discipline, and hard work you've put into your endeavors in the past and know that they will have long-term benefits and rewards for yourself and loved ones. Take heart that your will and efforts are well worth your while. The angels encourage you to keep up this great work. Give any concerns or worries to the angels for healing and transmutation for all to be well in your world. Develop a peaceful and loving relationship with yourself. All right, dear Libras. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the other angel number message that came through for you was 311. And so here, the number three is alongside the karmic master number 11 right so this is emphasizing the the sort of karmic importance of expression right and communication and self-expression right and new beginnings right this portal of new beginnings that is opening up here right definitely in alignment with the uh, lunar nodes changing in this new moon all right so 311 is a number of optimism, growth, and expansion. It says to keep your thoughts positive and bright because you are currently in a position where your thoughts and expectations can be manifesting at a rapid rate. Yes, we create our realities and life experiences with our thoughts, core beliefs, and intentions. So make sure that you focus and concentrate on your desired outcomes and results what you truly want rather than on what you don't. It's also a reminder that the energies and vibrations you project outward are reflected back to you. Listen to your intuition and follow your own inner knowing in all that you do and keep your focus on your heart center and your divine path and life purpose. Look to ways to use your natural communication skills and joyful disposition to uplift others. Have the courage to live your truths and express yourself with love and optimism. All right, dear Libra. So I definitely wish you all well on your continued journey. All right. And I hope that this message aids in your journey as well as the other messages here on the channel. Definitely like this video and subscribe to the UA Light Celestial Insight YouTube and all of the other social channels. See the official links also for ways to support UA Light content and uh, just take good care of yourselves.